I had to kind of pretend I was being held against the wall and kind of you just have to imagine that these things are actually happening and try to make it look as natural as you can. I would love to know what it was like for you in the audition process for The Crow. Um, well, for me, it was a, I got sent in the audition from my agent, my wonderful agent in London. Um, and I remember reading the character and really being attracted to her strength and her feistiness. And I thought she sounded really cool. Um, and yeah, I sent through the the tape kind of thinking nothing of it. I went through a phase, a period of sort of not having gotten a lot of auditions and I was feeling a little bit frustrated and maybe a bit low. Um, so I had sent through the audition sort of not thinking much about it. And then I got a call a few weeks later that, um, yeah, that I had gotten the role of Zadie, which is really exciting. And then I went to Prague to start shooting. You know, I was wondering because there is a lot of physicality to Zadie. And I was wondering, were you able to use your background as a dancer to kind of implement that physicality that we see on screen? That's an amazing question, actually. And I think I definitely was able to. Um, a lot of the physicality of Zadie I think was quite technical um, just with a lot of things with different rigs and timing and a lot of people were involved to sort of make the magic of the scenes come to life um, and often I think it can be a lot to sort of think about um, even just with timing your steps or making sure that you're walking in the right place or with the right pace and oh that rhymed I didn't mean to um, but yeah I think definitely my dance background really helped with sort of ad ad adapting to quick changes um, that would have to be made on set just due to unforeseen circumstances. So yeah, it was definitely useful and really helped me a lot in filming. You know, hearing that and knowing that you kind of set, you sent a self tape audition and booked the role, you know, were you able to kind of like invoke that in your, um, in your taped audition to kind of show that, you know, the type of physicality that you could achieve knowing that there is, you know, some stunt work involved in this. I think I definitely was probably not to the extent of which was shown in the film, but I remember there were definitely scenes where, um, I had to kind of pretend I was being held against the wall and kind of you just have to imagine that these things are actually happening and try to make it look as natural as you can. So yeah, I think there were definitely moments in the sale in the self-tape that hopefully I was able to depict what later you see in the film. You have scenes with the incredible legendary Danny Houston. And I, you know, he's just been, you know, a force in this industry. And you're a relatively you know, newcomer onto the scene and to have, you know, such a big scene with, you know, someone that comes from a legendary family. How did you enter that? Like, did you have any apprehensions? Were you nervous or did you, were you, you know, fully confident that, you know, you could go to head to head with this actor? I was definitely nervous. I think anyone in their, in their right mind would be just because I'm Danny as well as like Laura, they're amazing. And also just so sweet and very very nice people so I think uh apprehensions aside it really sort of eased my mind to know that they were just really really kind people and super accepting and super friendly and really supported me in the scene which I guess was a more at least the one with Danny was quite intense and um definitely I was nervous but really quickly I think that subsided just realizing how how nice everyone was and how ready everyone was to tell the story. Your first breakout role was on a TV series for Netflix. And this, it, you know, and it was a pretty big series, right? And this is pretty much your very first big film project. How was it for you, you know, it, it, talk to me about like the, the differences for you to adjust from going from a TV series, you know, that, that being your first big project to your very first film project, you know, what was that kind of like, you know, coming on to set and the differences? Well, I think for me with 1899, it was really, really 
I was really thrown into the deep end. So I think I had no idea what to expect, what to expect when I first went onto the set of 1899. And I think I left having learned so much that I felt so much more confident being able to go onto the crow. And I guess what you mentioned before of like being a newcomer and feeling that, you know, there's all of these people that I'm going head to head with. I think that definitely would have impacted me a lot more if I had done that, um, maybe prior to 1899 or even during the filming of it. Um, but I think with 1899, I loved being able to have a long run of really, really connecting with people. And The Crow, it was so different to kind of uh, have such a shorter, a much shorter process, I think. But um, I guess what I had experienced is just everyone is really, really passionate about each story that they want to tell. And it's really nice to feel that on a set, especially when everyone has the same goal in mind. So it was a it was a really fun transition, actually. You have several projects that are also coming out. I see that you're doing um, Black Doves. I mean, how excited are, for, are you to be able to have all of these projects come out you know, in one year, it's like, it's the yeah. year of uh, Isabella, really. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I think it's one thing to have an amazing time shooting and it's another thing to see the product finally out. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward. I love Black Doves and I have another film coming out that I was a lead in called High Wire, which um, I had the best time filming and I really, really got close to the people um, on the project. So it's it's really exciting to see me kind of put on different hats and step into different characters. And I'm kind of excited to watch, I guess, myself too. <laughs> well, I am excited for you. I'm out of time, but you know, like you said, 2024 is the year of Isabella Way. So I can't wait to see, <laughs> you know, you and these other upcoming projects. So first, congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs>